morning, you might be thinking, why am I in the glasses in the house? This is because I'm on my way to the balcony and it's very sunny. This is the morning and I'm about to have my first coffee. So, because today I'm filming my beauty makeup. Wow, that's windy. Okay. But it's really warm and it's really nice. Though it's windy. Would you like to have a tutorial on my hairstyle? Because they're just, okay. Back home. I don't need my sunglasses anymore. <laughs> Okay, let's continue to the bathroom and I'm going to show you my... I love my hair. I'm going to show you my um, morning beauty routine, what product I use on daily basis in the morning, and then we will go to the makeup routine. And that's going to be really fast because I don't even use any makeup. Almost. Let's go. Okay, let's do our morning routine. Now we're in my bathroom and I'm going to quickly show you the products that I use on a daily basis in summer. Excuse the lighting because we don't have a window here so it's a little bit, you know, I think the light is going to be like a yellowish or something. It's a shame I couldn't chill out a little bit in the balcony because I was so looking forward to just, you know, 10 minutes of relaxed bed, yeah. Now, I really needed coffee because I woke up so early this morning, practically like every morning. Anyhow, the first thing I do, I wipe my face with the, this micellar water. Yes, it's a very big bottle. I like it that it comes with a pump, so it's very easy uh, to uh, use it, very comfortable. It's by La Roche-Posay. It's for sensitive skin and what is there? Yeah, just soothing, beautiful product. After that, I use another product by La Roche-Posay. It's this Cerazine spray, facial spray. I use it uh, as a toner. My face in, in summer is a bit, it's like it has a little breakout and uh, I really need something that will soothe my skin and also stop the breakouts. So this is perfect. And I use this one as a toner. I wipe it with a cotton. Now the next step would be um, if, not maybe every day, but when I have some situation going on in my face, I would use this Body Shop Tea Tree um, Gel. So I showed it in my last video. I love it. It does the job well and I use it after that uh, toner and I leave it for maybe 10 minutes just to the product to sink in into the skin, well into the targeted uh, area and then I would be using this Essence by Cuddly. This is a new product, well relatively new, it's uh, the Vina Perfect uh, Concentrated Brightening Essence. I'm so in love with this. I'll be talking about this essence in my July, August favorite that is coming soon. So this is essence I use after a toner and before my um, serum. It claims to basically um, make the products that you use afterwards uh, more effective. And it's super moisturizing, loving this product. After that, I will be using my Vina Perfect uh, Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. I've talked about this product as well. I'm loving it. I'm using it for years. This is the brightening serum and it protects also from having the sunspots. So, using it a lot, basically all year round and especially in summer. And after that, I will be going to my eye area, which... I found that this cream probably like three months ago, this organic brand Cartier, French brand, and I've been using it since, and it has um, rose in there, stem of the rose, so it's anti-aging, it has a very light, but very moisturizing uh, texture, so I'm loving it, probably gonna get another one, because I'm about to get to finish. So then, 
and depending on how my skin feels if I feel like I have on a complicated side I will probably go for this uh, gel by Dr. Organic I talked about this gel as well this is the uh, snail organic gel it's really good for breakouts and if you have an oily skin in summer it's amazing it's perfect for makeup it's it basically serves as a moisturizer and a primer for me so I use a lot I use a lot um, especially these days but if I don't use that uh, gel I would be using the another moisturizing cream by Cuddly Vina Perfect as well I love the range Vina Perfect actually and uh, this is Radiance Moisturizer. It has SPF 20 in here, so it's perfect for my morning errands because I won't be using um, separate uh, SPF, so this is pretty much enough for me. I love this moisturizer. It's moisturizing enough, but it has a little bit mattifying uh, finish, so it's perfect for summer and my combination skin. So this is my go-to product. And um, this is it. This is all my morning uh, fast routine. And what else? I probably will finish with a spray of oven water on top because it'll just give this, you know, luminosity. And then I will continue with my makeup. Now the makeup is going to be very basic. First off, we're going to prime my eyelids. then goes the lip balm the essential priming part of every makeup routine this is actually one of my favorite uh, lip balms by the brand called, called Chinata everything is based on olive oil so very cute now um, I'm going to go right away with the concealer liquid concealer this is by Maybelline is my favorite Concealer. I'm going to prime it. Prime it. No, this is actually my. It's going to be sort of my foundation. What I do normally, I go in all the places that I need a little bit of coverage, and then I mix it with the pore minimizer primer, and I sort of. blend it later with a beauty uh, blender so I mix the concealer with the uh, primer and it gives a very nice smooth texture for the extra coverage to cover the imperfection of the face I will be using this concealing um, pot by Catrice and I'm going to conceal the areas the redness some breakouts which I have on my chin it has a very nice thick texture but it's very very blendable and I prefer to use my fingers what I love about this concealer that it doesn't crease and this is for me number one thing that I look at uh, when I'm in search of concealer that it doesn't crease obviously you have to set with a little powder now basically this is my makeup okay I'm going to go a little bit all over my face with this Le Beige uh, it's almost over powder it's a number 30 so it's a little bit dark that's why I use it sort of all over the face powder that gives a little bit of coverage and a tan. Very, very light, very sheer. I'm going now around my face because the center of my face I want to powder with a translucent, transparent powder that a little bit will brighten up this area.
And for the translucent powder, I'm using this Essence No Color Powder. And I'm going to use this pouch. And just gently dab under my eyes. Not to shift the concealer. I think this is the best technique because if you go with a brush, you kind of can move around your concealer unless you wait 20 minutes for it really to sink in, but nobody has this time. So I prefer to simply dab the powder. And then I probably will just diffuse it a little bit with this uh, fan brush. Very, very soft. So yeah, you see, I didn't really go uh, with the powder on the cheek side because I want to leave it a little bit more dewy. And I'm going to mix uh, my creamy uh, brush sti uh, blush stick by Clinique and this uh, luminous embellisher by uh, Armani. It's a number 11. It has this bronzy uh, color. So what I do, I will just dab here the top of my cheeks. And I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit, just like this. Really, you don't need more. I'm sort of going to dab it here mix it with my brush blush and then I'm going to blend it with this brush you see how nice it glows it gives a very natural sheen very summery Same thing here. This is pretty much all you need. Now I'm going to use only this brow gel for my brows. I'm not, most of the mornings I don't do, I don't fill in my brows. It's just, it's a little bit, for me in the morning, it's sort of a redundant <laughs> step in the makeup. Unless you want to have quite a bit you know, more polished, done look. But I feel like in summer it is pretty much enough. For the eyeshadows, I'm going to take my favorite of the month um, eyeshadows, uh, cream eyeshadows, like it's a pencil, by H&M. And I'm going to go all over my eyelid. Well, mainly I'm going to make it up mostly on the side of my eye and make sort of a cat eye, but uh, with a with a pencil only. And I'm going to simply um, blend it out towards the side of the eye. Just want to have this yeah as I said sort of a cat eye but not with a pencil so it looks more gentler and it's so much faster. You can, of course, intensify the look if you want, but I do think that for the day is already pretty much enough. Since I have such minimal uh, makeup in general all around my face, I think the eyes just need to be accentuated more, but you don't need to go to extend of eyeliners and stuff like that because we're making a very fast summer makeup. And I love to use my fingers. Now the finishing touch for the eyes would be before um, mascara will be this Duo Stick by uh, Dior that I talk about all the time. The pencil is already finished but I have a lot of eyeshadow still left so this I'm going to simply dab a little bit in the center of the eyelid for an extra shimmer. It has a beautiful goldish taupey color. 
and the corners of my eyes. I love this look, especially in summer. So yeah, um, the last step, almost. Using this mascara by Maybelline Push Up Drama, the falsies. It's so black that really you need only one coat of it. And I normally use only one coat in the day. I really love this mascara. I haven't been using it for a while. Super. I don't do anything on my um, lower eyelashes because I think it's already pretty much enough. So, oh, I have a mark here. Yeah, you have to be careful. You cannot really close your eyes. Like on the contrary, like open it very wide, widely. Just gonna, uh. Okay, the last touch is the lips. Okay, I'm going to use this pencil in Nude. It's called In the Nude by Essence. This is actually I bought last week because my previous one was finished and I love this pencil so much. I lately started to really get into the like filling in the lips with the lip pencil. I feel like if I only use the lip gloss, it really disappears like in five seconds. So when I prep my lips with the and give the color with the lip pencil, it'll stay longer. Also, it kind of neutralizes your natural color of the lips. If I want to have more beige lips, I really need to use the uh, the pencil that will tone down my natural color. And then practically every um, every gloss will look more like more palish rather than accentuate the redness of my lips. Depending depending of course what you want, but I love this look. And don't forget to prep your lips before, so the pencil slides very smoothly. And now the last touch, I'm going to use my uh, go-to uh, lip embellisher by Clarence. Simply going to dab a little bit of the product in the center of my lips. This is it. This is the look. Really nothing out of another world. Uh, very fast. Obviously, in the morning it takes me just about five minutes. But since I've been talking, it took me, I don't know, 20 <laughs> as usual. Well, and this is it. Thank you very much for um, spending the morning with me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.